I'll squash your teeth. Oh, wait, yeah, no, run it back, run it back. Run it back. AI cross. Who's on your ox though before you get it? I think I'm undefeated on ox. <laughs> like taking people's cookies. If you call coach like four low, like ISO, that's that's, that's definitely my signature, yeah. That's your yeah. I just love the game and then learning from different new people, WBA watching, just learning the aspect of the game. I hope to inspire the next generation to just dream big. I was a little kid from Minnesota who didn't really know what I was capable of. But I worked extremely hard and I was super dedicated and I had great faith and I just dreamed big and I think the higher you set your goals, the more you're being able to achieve. This is the Paige Becker's Film School, Field by Gatorade. And I'm joined here by KK Arnold. When like young players watch your tape and see you play in the game, what do you want them to take away? Just how hard I play and what I bring to the table and how I always have a smile on my face because, you know, basketball is just a game at the end of the day, but how you can be super competitive and smile at the same time. So. Do you like model your game after anybody like NBA, WNBA? People always say I play like a Rike. Mm -hmm. take some skills after that and then her being from Wisconsin watching her growing up. So I'll definitely take some aspects of her, you know, dribbling. Was it like always UConn? Was that, was there other schools? Definitely, uh, watching them like grow up when I was younger, I always was a big fan of the program. So how did it feel to like make your commitment? It felt great, big weight off my shoulder, especially before high school season started, before junior year. Get that pressure off and just know where I'm gonna be next year, so. So do you like have any questions for me about coach, about anything? Yeah, like how is it like practice? I watched more practice before, but like how is it like beyond like during like more playoff time? It's a lot more like focused. You're really paying attention to details, obviously learning the scouts and sort of learning more about the opponents. I would say everything that you do at UConn is super focused and just a lot of competing. I had to ask this, who's on your aux though before a game? I think I'm undefeated on aux, <laughs> but like, we'll see. Who's your go-to artist you listen to before games? Before games? Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill always turned me up. What's your move? Like, what's your go-to move? Definitely the crossover. Yeah, I've been seeing you been hitting him right the there, whole yeah. game, 24. If I hit him with something else, I would just hit him with the same thing. Give him a little stare down. You be talking trash? I do. You start it if or they start me, it? No, if they get me going, I'll start Yeah, it. that's on the same way. Oh, wait, yeah, no, run it back, run it back, <laughs> run it back. AI cross. See, you better not hit me with that in practice because I might be going the other way as well. Just right with her, 24, yep. Oh, yeah, What? what's going on? <laughs> Is that the same girl? Yeah, that's the same Amen. girl. She got me the whole game. Amen. So you won Gatorade Player of the Year in Wisconsin. Like, how did that feel? It felt really good. The first time going in sophomore year, I was like, that's crazy. Big accomplishment. And then this year, junior year, pretty good feeling having two times in a row. So. Two times in a row, some <laughs> slight, some slight. So what's your why for basketball? Like, why do you play? I just love the game. And then basketball just gives you so many opportunities, meet new people, especially meet you is a big thing all around me. Great players, learning from different new people, WBA watching, just learn the aspect of the game. So. Has there been anyone in your life to like take you under their wing and make you better as a player, as a person? My dad was the biggest one. He's the one who pushed me hard. And then definitely my trainers, how I get in the gym, you know, sometimes I'm lazy. They'll get after me, tell me my big goal, what I want to be, so. If you want to be the greatest, then you got to study the greats. That means countless hours in the film room, studying our role models that paved the way and following in their path to greatness. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you look like. You too have the power within to overcome anything. Gatorade, fuel tomorrow. How is it going in like your freshman year? Any like nerves going in? I feel like I get nervous before every game, before every like new experience, like USA basketball, anything like that. But I just, I think the biggest thing from high school to college is maintaining confidence. Like it's gonna be challenging, freshman year is extremely hard, but you're sort of stepping into a new chapter, so there's not as much high expectations as I would say like a senior has or a junior has. Just because you're new, you're adjusting. Confidence is the biggest thing for me, just because there's gonna be like a lot of challenges, a lot of times where you're like, dang, like I'm not doing so good, but I would say confidence for sure. So I saw your move was a little hezzy, little whoop whoop. So I'm gonna need you to go upstairs and teach me that. So let's go. I got you. Honestly, when they come up on me, they usually guard me like this. Mm -hmm. So like, 
this way. So when I see that, I just get what they give me. So I just take it across and then just go. If you call coach like four low, like yeah. ISO, that's, that's, that's definitely my signature. Yeah. That's your move. Yeah. You like pulling up more or just getting to the basket? Uh, Cause I saw the, the one I said, like run it back, run right. it back, you hit it. Uh, and then you pulled it. Pull it up. It depends on where they at. Cause you know, most of them they be like trying to clog the lane. Yeah. So if I see that, I just, and then just straight into it. Or I just take one dribble and go into it. Bro, I would say like college basketball, you always have to have a counter for everything. Mm -hmm. So for me, obviously that, your move be working for <laughs> Once you hit it, I would say like a quick, if they don't bite on it and they stay quick or they, sometimes they'll like try to beat you to the crossover. So mm -hmm. they'll jump on this side. I would just say like hitting the quick between the legs. When you're like, if you see your defender's hips open up, like step back with your left foot like a little bit, you automatically know you can get into your pull up. Mm -hmm. Cause they got to slide this way. Just keep the ball on your right side and shoot mm -hmm. it. I think that's the biggest thing in college basketball. It's like the paint is flooded. It's harder to get to the rim. So mm -hmm. just knowing that you can always rely on your mid range jump shot. That's the killer for me. Right there. You like defense? Love defense. Great. <laughs> Love to hear that coming into school for sure. You like taking people's cookies? That's great, you guys. <laughs> like, sometimes, like, I hit them with the... <laughs> I, I take the like <laughs> Nah, that's my favorite. Who's the toughest player you've had to guard? The latest one was at Corsair Camp. I had guard Nunu. That was a big one, big body. So going up against her. Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins. And then a couple years back, it gets Kiki Rice. Yeah, that she's was tough. definitely a big game. Yeah. Are those like the best players you played against? Yeah, best players I played against also. And then first time on EYBL circuit, that was the first players I played against. And Olivia Miles and all them. They're mm -hmm. in college now, so definitely one of the big ones. What's your next big goal? Next week's goal, just worry about those accomplishments going into senior year, like McDonald's All American, all that, and then just being better, getting better as the year goes on. You like getting to the cup better, or shooting better? Yeah, definitely getting the cup. Shooting got some improvement too. Got way better though. Nah, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah, and you're fast. You you're gonna push the ball. I'm gonna tell you that <laughs> I because I'm getting tired sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Do you wear number one for a reason? I just rocked number one ever since I was little. And that was the only jersey I could fit when I was little. Well, you know, there's no ones, no oh, zeros. No, yeah, Coach you told me that. Coach told me that. What's like your secondary number? Probably two. two. Take on a new chapter. Spinley. Left hand is crucial. <laughs> Better keep that left hand. That's it for the Paige Becker's Film School, fueled by Gatorade. Thank you, KK, for joining us. What's inside KK Arnold is inside you. Gatorade, fuel tomorrow. Overtime Fits keeps blessing me with all these fits and you can cop them too. Head over to the OT shop and peep some of these new drops. All you gotta do is click the link below.